Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. I'm going, this is my umpteenth attempt today to record, make this video. Um, the first couple times my voice was not working for some reason because my PC doesn't like me. So today I am doing a, I'm doing Aunt Bex from Aunt Bex Creations. Her August challenge is to use what you have and only what you have. Don't go buy nothing this month. Use only the supplies you have available to you. So you have to think outside of the box sometimes. So this will be a very interesting little adventure. I'm right now looking to find out where the live is at so that I can share it with you guys. It doesn't always like me. This always takes me forever to do. I need like six hands. Plus I'm waiting for some people to get in here once I start sharing. Hey, there's the live. You'll probably hear some echoing. This always takes me forever to do. Could I, I need like six hands. Okay. Copied my link. Gonna send it to a few people in Messenger. And hope that this works out this time. If people come, they come. If they don't come, they don't come. I don't care. They can, you can always be watching. If you miss me, guys, don't worry. You can watch me on replay. Don't forget to like, comment, and share while I'm just doing my quick commenting and sharing on my different things so that I can get it all taken care of. Okay. when it does that. One more. I'm looking for their shit. Now today I'm going to be using what I have. Uh, what I have. First of all, I've never done this project ever. <laughs> So that's a feat in itself. I think in my mind says it knows what it's going to be doing. I don't know. Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Thanks for popping in. So, okay, this is kind of, this is my day two of the August challenge because last night I had to work. I had to work in the morning, come home, I ended up taking a long nap, had to get back up, make dinner, and then go back to work. And by the time I got done, I just was not create in a creative mode. I sat, I tried, oh, it was not pretty. So today I'm going to do, be doing this one, and later on I'll probably do another project, and I'll just post a picture of that one. I'm not going to do another live video. So I'm using a lot of stuff that was sent to me from Lisa from My Eclectic Life. And we're just going to see how this goes. I'm using a uh, half a ball styrofoam that I bought for 10 cents at Walmart a couple months ago. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree a couple winters ago when I did my um, Christmas dome. That was a fun project. That was a project I would like to get going again now that I know what I'm doing. So I might get some people on that one. That's an idea. That was, uh, if you don't, if you've never, you, I, if you look through my things, you'll find, I think it's called Christmas Dome, DIY Christmas Dome, and it's doing a, doing, you using a pop bottle and a bunch of other stuff and just making a Christmas scene inside of it. Really awesome. Really fun. So I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to be using some of these lovely, lovely pieces of fabric and material that, that Lisa sent me. 
And this is going to hopefully be a pin cushion. This might take me 7,000 years today. Who knows? I think I did see the comment. I haven't got a chance to get a hold of you. In my actually my last live, I accidentally deleted, which was my haul. I deleted it. I thought I was deleting something else. Uh, yeah, you'll have to just look up me. Um, I don't know do you, if you use Facebook or not. It's just Mark Muir, Facebook.com, or Mark Muir Art. That's my where I sell my stuff. So just pop me a message. I usually reply as soon as I get find one. Oh, that's what's wrong with this. It's double. <laughs> Ooh. And I gotta start that one all over again. And I'm just, I'm taking, my exacto knife and just lightly pushing the fabric into the foam. Thank you for, for uh, setting something aside for me. I love to get happy mail. I don't get it very often. And it inspires me. And I also like to. I have little piles and stuff laying around for different people that I want to send them happy mail and thank yous and all that stuff. Sometimes I'm really good at getting everything sent out that I need to get sent out and taking care of my peeps. And there's other days that I'm a little lazy. <laughs> a lot lazy, but don't tell nobody. I still got to get, I was, uh, I was supposed to send that out today. Guess Faith will be waiting till next week to get her pamphlets of possibilities. This may work out. This may not work out. I don't know. I just know I'm just trying to have fun and use what I've got. Okay. Yeah, I'm in both of those groups as well. So far, this seems to be working as planned. We'll see. Hi, Nan Nina's art journey. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you guys all for coming. I'm attempting a project I've never done before. I've kind of came up with it on my own because I'm trying to do Aunt, Aunt Beck's uh, use what you've got for the month challenge where you only just use the things you have around. You don't go buy nothing. You try to come up with projects using the things you have so that you can use them up. These are some fabric pieces and stuff that I was given from Lisa from uh, Eclectic's. Lisa's Eclectic Life, and some foam pieces and stuff that I have gotten from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, 
you name it. I got it from there. What I'm doing is just taking these fabrics and my X-Acto knife and slightly just shoving it into the foam. And the Exacto knife is not is kind of a dollar blade right now, so I won't slice anything that I don't want sliced. Also, the thing I'm going to say too is, Elisa, is I am really, really bad um, on replying. I, replying to people's messages, especially on YouTube, I try to. I get, I can't forget. So if you message me, on, you know, leave me a comment on YouTube, and I haven't replied, say hey, hello. <laughs> Because that's I gotta I have to to do better at my interacting with my subbies. Because I'm slowly trying to get my channel back going the way I would like it to going. I'm go really gonna make it just. It's harder for me because I only want to do lives, even if no one shows up. At least the video is there. Because I I don't have the time to edit mess around. I'm actually liking the way this is coming out so far. This is going to be a fun little project. You're too big. Too big. You might get used forever there. This is quite interesting how it's wrapping up, but then it's Coming back over to where the weirdness, but that's okay. That's what scissors and all kinds of stuff are for. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. Let me get my zoom in. There we go. See, I'm just just pushing it in like that and then I'm coming in behind I'm cramming it in there making sure it's all tucked down nice so in case you're wondering what I'm doing and my phone went down for a minute. Hold on. Oh yeah, my mom yarn. Oh, my mother had so has so much yarn. I buy her all kinds of containers, and the containers for the for the yarn are um, filled with other things. <laughs> And she's got so much charm, but she just loves to crochet. And she does some really cute stuff when she what she finds. She's working on a baby outfit right now, a whole set. But she did my friend, my one friend. She did a Totoro. If anybody's ever heard of that, that was a fun project for her. Oh, I bet you this was cut differently. That I may have to fold up under or something. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Just fold it under and pray.
Now, I have been banging my head against the wall trying to think of what exactly am I going to use to make it so that it's more stable for when you're using pin cushions and stuff. But I think I'll put some kind of, I think I'm thinking about maybe cutting a hole in the bottom here and just sticking in um, something with a little bit of weight. I haven't figured that one out yet. Yeah, my mom, she is above and beyond a really, she finds some really, really fun projects and she just loves to crochet. She used to crochet when I was a kid. My mother, my aunt, they all used to make stuff all the time. And then somehow that kind of stopped. Like my mom was making these beautiful rose uh, blankets, rose granny square blankets and some other stuff. And she had stopped for quite a few years. And then my dad had passed away and she didn't know what to do with herself. And I was cleaning out the closet. And in the very, very bottom was the box of the last blanket she had started. She had a bunch of squares done, only a few left to do. And then she could assemble the blanket. So I said, well, Mom, why don't you finish this blanket? That'll give you something to do. So she, you know, she's like, oh. So she sat down, took her a month or two to remember how she did the pattern. Because it had been, you know, it's been quite probably, it was, I would say, at least 15 years since she touched it. And she sat down and she worked that pattern up. She finished the blanket, assembled the blanket, and she's been crocheting since. She has a few projects, as I'm sure, sure some of you people who are crocheters have those projects that are sitting over there that are half done. Because either she got bored with it, it frustrated her, and she'll go back to it later. A lot. It's she has these one. She I love her because she has these moments where she's will be will be fighting. Um, she will she will be fighting. Um, trying to figure out something that a pattern's telling her or something, and then she'll just wake up in the middle of the night and be like, "Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do," and then she'll just get up and start working on it. She used to do that with, uh, she used to also make um, the macrame, like the macrame owls and the pot hangers. And she would do, um, oh, she used to do that. I'd like to get back into it. The string art where you use the, na you use nails, do patterns, and then you wrap string around them. Oh, she used to do beautiful, she did these owls and semis and all kinds of stuff she would make. Oh, I loved it all. Don't know where any of that, work ended up at must have gotten lost along our moves but I remember them beautiful they were absolutely beautiful Yeah, my mom and my aunts, and they were all... And do, do you guys remember the uh, round circle? The round circle... You would make the round circle pillow, pillow, crochet pillows. And then they also made the dolls, and they were like a big, a big southern dress-looking thing on them. They do those. They do this. My, my grandma used to do this stuff where it was foam. And you took these these pins and these little weird beads, like flower shaped beads, and you put them in, and you made the doll with those. And uh, it was they used to do all the old craft and stuff. My mom tried to do that thing where you make a snowman out of Reader's Digest books, where you where you fold the pages. <laughs> she got the first one done. She said, "Oh no, I'm not. I'm <laughs> I'm done with that. That was not her favorite thing to do. It was just." She's like me. She doesn't like to, to spend seven years on a project. This is looking kind of cool. I have to figure out how I'm going to do this part, but that's just cutting a couple pieces. Sticking it in there. Hi, Azur. How you doing, hon?
Yeah, she. The, a lot of the stuff my my mom and them used to I mean they used to they made all. You I mean you when you for holidays and stuff it wasn't store bought candies. It was they you know they made the, they made the stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to move that back down to there for now, guys, because holding it up in the air was starting to hurt my hand a little bit. But you guys are seeing what I'm doing. And I think this is coming out really cool. What do you guys think? It's quick. It's easy. I'm thinking. And I can, once I'm done with this, I can give it to my mother because she's, you know, always losing her needles and her pens for, for the stuff that she's using. That's another thing is, if you're going to craft something, it's not going to be a painting or, what, or a book or whatever. It's make what's usable. Unless you're going to sell it, you know, if you know somebody else is going to use it, then that makes it sense too. You're going to go right there. I'm scared when I start the other one because this one's going to make a lot of noise. This is the more, this thing is more the softer. Softer foam. It really is just pushing and tucking, pushing and tucking, pushing and tucking. Get in there. Take the head. Ah, oh, Barbara. I don't think I've watched Barbara ones. I think I remember hearing Dee Dee say something about it. But I'm kind of... I try to get my lives in when I can get a live in because... When my mom's home, I'm really doing, a, I'm usually doing a bunch of stuff. You know how that can go. So I, I utilize my free time because it's not as easy to do lives when she's home because we're usually trying to do stuff and 
she likes to have company visiting her, so. And I don't, it's kind of, you can't really, you can't film while you're sitting visiting. Well, you can, but that's a whole different channel. Get in there. Now, one thing I did do is I did cut a hole in the bottom of this and stuck that in there just to make sure it was going to fit before I started my live because, you know, sometimes it's better just to prep. Sometimes these guys like to go right in, sometimes don't. So is anybody else uh, doing uh, on Beck's uh, August challenge, which is the use what you got, go on a spending freeze. It's a good thing I went and got my My spending done the other day. <laughs> I just hadn't bought anything in a while. Went to went out of town. Went to Hobby Lobby, which I was very disappointed because they didn't have much. I had a haul video for that, but I accidentally deleted it because, well, that's what happens sometimes when you're just. I meant to hide the, the two videos prior to this one, and I thought that's what I was doing, but somehow. I deleted instead. That's okay, though. Okay, so we only have this spot there, that spot there, and this spot up here, which I don't even think I'm going to need that yet. I'm not going to need that. So I just said to do that spot and that spot, and then we can start on the top. Not that it's a bad thing, you know, we, I think we all, we all have good intentions and to even attempt it is what really counts.
Yes, I shorter challenges. I'm more capable of doing like a week. If it's a, once a week, maybe. I'm a little bit more 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 capable sometimes, unless my week gets crazy. And at the hotel right now, I'm housekeeping, and right now we are. We have been full up for weeks, and we have some people that are staying there long term for a few months while they're redoing our Walmart. That one's fun. I get to go in. That's when I go in in the evening. I go in because they're third shifters, so we go in after they after they went to work, so we can do their rooms. We do their rooms twice a week. Once a day would be better, but we, we don't have the hours or the time. And who wants to go in every night? Not me. But we try to make, I try to make sure they're taken care of. Oh, I guess there's another spot right there too. We try to make sure they are well taken care of because our, cust our, our guests come first. So we go in, we, we do the things we need to do. But we have been, weekends we've had like full checkouts, every room. And we're limited to what we have for housekeepers right now. So that takes a little bit of a toll on your stamina. I'm going to say... I'm just eyeballing this guy, so hopefully... Get this side, yeah, that's the side. And with this, using the foam and then putting this, the fabric over top of it, it should, as a, because uh, Mary, Mary Altier, Atelier. I think I'm probably hashing the heck out of that. She's going to be doing a uh, pin cushion. Really awesome project, I think. But I had mentioned to her about maybe using the foam things. And she was worried about the foam breaking down after uses of pins, which it probably still will. But this should help to hold things together, this little technique. Of course, my mother, I should probably use it once. Still lose all her needles and her pins. And then it'll just look sit there looking cute on her desk. Well, on her stand next to her. That woman, oh, I swear. There's days I try to go through the living room and or even doing laundry and I come in and I pull out tons and tons and tons of pieces of yarn. And stuck to everything. <laughs> She's went to work before with yarn stuck all over and she didn't realize it. That's coming out kind of cool. I just have to do that part right there, then we can start the top. See, when I got these, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them because. I don't always, I think I will just use another piece of this other stuff I'd already cut. It's because it's so minimal. Because, I mean, I do a little bit of mixed media. I have made a couple different things, but I don't think, I don't see this stuff go, oh, I'm going to, I need to get that and, and, and do something with it. So by having a few things from some really good people sent to me, it has helped so much as far as me thinking outside of my box and being able to try new things. Because even as an artist, 
any artist or crafter or creator, you will you you find that um, you if you keep doing the same thing every day, you need something to vent and to do useless, uh, brainless. You know, don't have to overthink it. You don't have to sketch this all out and draw that out all out and paint that all out and be per perfect. Stuff like this is is a great you know great way to create beautiful things without having to overcomplicate doing stuff. I mean, I I, you know, I mean, I do watercolors, I do acrylics, I do drawings, I do all kinds of stuff. And, you know, a lot of that stuff, you have to think it up and you have to execute it and sketch it out and draw it up. And then you have to paint and fill it in and uh, paint in the butt. So to me, this is a nice <gasps> breath, fresh of air, breath, you know, fresh breath of air. Oh, she's a stalker, is she? <laughs> hey, stalking, stalking. I'll I do that sometimes. I'll have like if there are several different people I like to watch. I uh, I'll have my phone on one and my <laughs> PC on the other and my tablet on the other. But I wish we had a better layout plan for people who are art, you know, craft arts and crafters. Well, artists. All together, because that it's that it's just not there. I mean, it is hard to find ones that are, you know, live lives of people. And for so, unfortunately, a lot of times, the few that do do the lives are doing them around the same time. So pick and choose, but you can always go back and watch the stuff. I love the the live interaction. That makes that makes it makes it so much more. There's so much makes it more of a you know interactive fun time. And the goal for this one, too, is if you've noticed, is if everything goes correctly and well, I shouldn't have to use anything. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love watercolors. And what's fun about watercolors and what's interesting about watercolors for people who haven't used them much is there are so many different types. And even, you know, I have one that I used, my friend gave me to, Faith, Faith gave me to, gave to me, and they're very shiny, glossy when they finish. Then you have your mattes. Then you have your ones that are almost chalky. There's, there's so many different finishes to a watercolor you never know. And there are some beautiful watercolors out there. And then there's some that are mutated, and, and those are awesome, too. Oh, Buying duplicates is always fun, especially I I like some people say, Oh, you already have that. Well, you know what? You never know. Either I'll use it or I will find somebody that I think is going to use it. That's what that's what it's all about. I have like a Shay and Faith. I have sent them, you know, I, I, I'll go to places, find some like, okay, that's not my thing, but I know that person right there would love that. And for that cheap of a price, and I just, you know, I start little piles with names on them. And when they get big enough for a, if it fits a chips box or a, or a envelope, then it gets put in there and sent out to the person.
But yeah, hopefully, I shouldn't have to use any kind of um, glues. You know, no hot glue, nothing like that. So this is a project, and you could do this with, um, you don't have to use an X-Acto knife. You could probably use toothpicks or anything that that's, has a pointy tip to it so that you can shove the fabric down inside the foam. That's all you need to do this. So this would be a great kids project. You don't have to... You won't have to use fabric because you use other things, but fabric probably would be the be the better way to go. Okay, we're getting we're getting down there on the yeah. I think I have Windsor Newton. I have Koi. I have. I have several watercolor markers and pens as well. And if you don't know how to use those, then you have trouble with well, people have trouble with them. Then I have the cheap one, like this one right here, this set. I think I got it at Michael's for like five or six bucks. You can get it on Amazon. I love this. It's got a lot of your flesh cones. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's dirty though. Don't, don't pay attention to how dirty it is. Uh, uh, ne never mind. <laughs> I got this one the other day. This is uh, this is Raleigh, Darlinda. It's a traveling one. Beautiful colors, completely different than some other ones I have. Then I have. Um, I don't know where my ones are. My koi's are at and stuff. They're probably in my bedroom because I like to art sometimes when I'm laying in bed. But that's the fun thing about stuff like that. You should get to have fun. And then I have, uh, I have some of the, the Ink Tense watercolor pencils. Oh my God. I got those from a Sketchbox and I love them. Love them. Those are on my wish list, which I'm putting, should be adding my wish list to my videos soon from Amazon. Cause I'm not gonna do the Patreon thing, but if like if people wanna buy me things like that, whatever, or just Happy Mail makes me happy. I, I don't want people to go out and spend a million dollars, but it never hurts. Plus my birthday is coming up. It's, it's in August, August 16th. I'll be a mere 21 years old. Don't question me. It's coming along good. Let me get into my autofocus. Well, I don't use autofocus. I self focus because. See, it's just cramming them things. In case you didn't get to see all those. Thank you once again, Lisa, from My Eclectic Life. Without you, some of this wouldn't have been possible. Oh, I also have the, um, if you haven't got these, I got these at Michael's. I used to like 50 or 60% off. That's the only way I got them. Is the Jane Davenport's uh, mermaid markers. Love them. Beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. And they go a long way. Quite a long way. I did my... Um, 
where is it? I won last year, last year, last summer. I won a spot in um, Tamara Lepore's uh, Ever After classes. Well, I still gotta finish so many of those, but I used, that's what I used on this is the mermaid markers. That one, and this one, I used the mermaid markers and stuff on these. Still got more to work on. Oh, and I got her life book. My friend gave me her life book for Christmas. Love it. If you guys haven't got into that stuff, you you really need to. They're fun. I actually want to do, she has a bird one out right now, I want a video I want to do. Okay, let's get, get back to. Yeah, um, I don't squeeze mine very much. When I do use mine, I actually have a have usually have a plastic palette or something, and I put them in there and I water them a little bit because you put them directly on and you're talking about some craziness. I think I have. Is it this one? When I was trying, I was trying to work, and it was there. It was flying all over the place. It was not fun. No, it's not that one. I don't know what book it's in. I was working on my reprie reprieve of my Big Eye Girls. I had done a collab with Big Eye Girls from with Cinnamon Cooney. Big Eye Girls Princesses. And I did Rapunzel. And at that time, I just started getting into... Uh, but this is this is the big eye girl re reprive and want to paint again someday. This is what she looks like now compared to before. But so I'm, I'll be doing a, a video of that soon. This is my Rapunzel. Much better than the first time I did it. Let's get back to this craziness. Oh yeah, the, the, they are they are so pigmented that you don't really need to use a lot. Just I actually, you know, I did uh, where I put it at, but I got you know those the little you just get those like the little tiny itty bitty Tupperware containers that have a lid on them, like for like put little snacks for kids and stuff. I squeeze some of mine into there. Because it will, when you feel rewet it, it becomes usable again. So just use what you need, you, like that, and then put the lid on, and you, it's there for when you need it later on. That's what I did because I was, I mean, I I was feeling like, oh gosh, I spent so much on that, but of course, thank God I, I didn't spend as much because I, I think it was fifty or sixty percent off I got on them. Because they are absolutely fun. If you guys haven't, don't follow Willowing, which I'd be surprised if any of you don't follow Willowing. You should look up Willowing um, Tamara Lepore. Her, she has her life book out. You can take their regular classes, which are video, or she actually has an actual book out now, which is quite interesting. But I, I would I honestly, if you could ever you just sit down and she has a Lesson on doing a bird right now on, on YouTube. Her teachings are just wonderful. She uses all kinds of insane stuff, and I just... Uh. And she is such a kind-hearted woman. She really is. She's, she's like Dee Dee. She, she's, she's nice. She's kind. She enjoys sharing sharing stuff, and she you know gets that we're all on a budget. Oh, you should just used to see my carton. Are you in the, the this year's life book ever after? I ha I was in last summer's. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, the Goldilocks and the Three Bears was Tam was Tamara's. I loved it. It's 
It is a fun class to take. I still am so behind on all the videos. I was going to download them so I could keep them, and I haven't got there yet so that I could actually finish. I mean, I there's like, I think, what is there? 10 or 15, I think, videos. Because there's bonus videos, and there's this videos, and that videos. And, and any people say, well, oh, you know, you people, I don't want to go in there and do her style. You know what? Go in and try all these different artists' styles, okay? Try them. Try Just watch. Try their style. You don't, you know, it will help you develop your own style. Take the things you love from certain techniques and stuff and use those. I learned so much because when you're when you're on your own as an artist and you are watch you know you just are doing your own you've learned your style and you've learned what you know you but you're now at a wall by that's what I love about YouTube and different creators and artists and crafters is the your wall now goes down you have so many different doors and windows you can open to to experience and try it and maybe that worked for you maybe this didn't work for you you didn't know you could do this. You, you didn't know you could do that. Now you know not to do this or that. And you open your eyes and you expand your creativity. And that's what is, is so awesome about exploring and letting yourself go. Okay, well, I'll do you. You're like, and that's what she does too. in some of her things is she'll say, do this in my style, the way I'm teaching you, and then do it in your style. Because that way, you know, we just did, actually we just did the, me and my friends for the art and chat just did that one collab together of uh, draw this in your style. Somebody had submitted a thing and they wanted, and each of us drew it in our own style. It was quite fun. A little stressful, but it was very fun. So that's why even if you say, I can't draw, or I can't do this, or I'm not a good at that, try it. What's it going to hurt you? What you, in, you have to remember, too. If you try something for the first time, and it comes out looking absolutely atrocious and horrible, don't give up on that. It's like riding a bike. How many of you have got on that bike and fell down several times before you mastered that bike? Everything is like that. The more you do it, the more you learn and the better you get at it. So don't ever, there is no such thing as bad art. It's stages of the art. It's, that's your first attempt. It wasn't going to come out looking absolutely positively like Picasso. But the more you work at it, the, the better it's going to get. Yeah, it's kind of it's like a patchwork quilt, and I—that's what I'm, I'm. I'm, I was looking at those forever, thinking, "What am I gonna do with these pieces of fabric that she sent me?" I'm like, "Hmm," and you know, I'm thinking, "Okay, well, I could try this or that or that or this." And I was sitting downstairs, and I happened to look over, and I, there was a bag sitting there. I'm like, I can't remember what's in this bag because it was—I remember emptying stuff. And it was my phone things and stuff. And I'm like, wait a minute. So originally when I came up, I was just going to do something with this half circles. But then I remembered I had these. And I'm like, I can do a pin cushion thingy. Excuse me. It was drink time. Sippy, sippy time. <laughs> Yeah, you could cover a journal. See, I'm getting into journaling. Well, trying to get into journaling and stuff. I have the only journal I've ever made was me and my girls did a uh, an art journal that was just here two seconds ago. Oh, we did an art journal that was an art journal swap. There is a video on it, and we made our own. What do you guys call them? The sheet things. 
whatever they're called. <laughs> but we made our own, and we sent them out, and each of us did a two-page spread. What are these called? The, the sections in a journal when you make them. Uh, I'll get it later on. I, I know I, I know the word, but um, I still have one section that was never used. I'll probably paint something in it. And then my friend, she did the fold out fairies. And then we each had a theme. This is another fairy flying over, dropping spring on everybody. And then my other friend did this one, which is like a centaur or whatever, and she's out in the woods. And that was just making, you know, it was just taking some watercolor papers, folding it. This is a piece of the, that uh, uh, Lexar or whatever, Flexar or whatever it is stuff that I used some inks and some um, color things on. It was quite, quite... Signature. That's it. A signature. Signature. We made a signature for it. So that's the only time I've ever done something like that, but I want to get into that a little bit more and, and, and explore that further. I'm thinking if I do this right, I can use the... Well, no. I don't have a lot of selection left. Oh, I have one. Well, that one I already have on here. There's, there's one I don't have yet. Um, people remind me to f finish my description in my um, for my video. I had it typed up like four times, and I had and by the time I got my last one, I'm like, I just want to do my live. I don't want to type all this stuff up because I've come in here three times and I had no voice, and oh, it was bad. Thank God, Faith was there and was like, "Uh, your voice isn't working." Yeah, learning, it is fun to learn new stuff. That's what I think. And that's why I try to watch everybody's stuff because I want to learn some new things. I want to not just limit myself to just this or that. You know what I mean? This one could be cutting it real close as to how far he'll go down, but that's okay. Almost done with this part. Then we'll see where I go from there. Because I could go crazy. Yeah. I'm the same way. I, if I, like my mom friends, like, oh, you can make a thousand of those and sell them. I'm like, by the time I made three or four of them, I'm done. <laughs> For now. I'm, I get bored easily and I'm constantly changing my projects and changing things that I love to do. I find something new and I go for that for a while. And then I'm like, okay, I'm bored now. So then I find something new and I go for that for a while. And I'm like, okay, I'm bored now. I do want to use this. I just have to cut it down some.
And all these little extra PC PCs I'll use on something else later on. Uh, that one I cut a little too low. That's okay. Okay, I see what's wrong. I see what I was doing wrong for cutting. But I also do all kinds of stuff like, um, have any of you guys, I don't think all you have, I, there's a group that's called Pamphlets of Possibilities, and they make these pamphlets, and they send them out, and you do a page, and you keep passing to artist, artist, till it's done, and then it goes back to the original shipping place, and then they go they do some stuff from there. So I've got one of those I'm sending out to my one friend soon. That's one of the things I was supposed to send out today, but I didn't do that yet. Don't tell Faith. I'll get that sent out either tomorrow or Monday. I've been very uh, about getting around and going out and about. It's been too hot. My backyard looks like a looks like a, a forest of, of insanity right now. Too much to do, not enough time to do it in. And I don't feel like bending over all day to weed and stuff because I bend over all day at work. I need a gardener. I need a yard boy or girl or whoever wants to come and just do the garden for me. Okay. So that much is done. So it's going to look like this one that's put together. So isn't that cute? But I, I got to fix a few things and... We don't want these sticking out like a craziness. Oh, what can I do next with it? So I think that's cute. Isn't that cute? No so pro projects. Well, I have. I lucked out and went to this went to the store the one day, and they had a bunch of the flowers that hadn't got sold that were given for free. So I grabbed them. Well, it ends up some of them I got were cabbage. <laughs> so I have a cabbage growing in a flower part pot, but I know I need to go get some more pots and get the good soil and put them, you know, individually in each pot. But um, yeah. I, I'm lazy. I can't help myself. I wonder if I could get this to stick in and hang down. Because I do like that. Let's see. It doesn't have to be right oh, it can be there is where it can be. I don't want to actually cut that, so where's my pokey thingy? Sure, can't find the things I need when I need them. The life of a craft. Maybe these will work. There we go. That's a little.
I don't know how well you're going to see that. Nice thing, you should go like that, pull it right back out. So these might not be... There we go. I think I think I've got it now. I know crunchy de crunchy de crunch crunch. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. This is just going to take forever, I think. That's my problem. A thumb over the hole that you just did it in, then it won't pull itself back out. <laughs> this is just a pair of tweezers I'm using. you guys think um it's not that you're not allowed to use glue i'm just trying not to use glue yeah i i have fabric glue i'm just trying to you know like trying to see if i can do it without using the glue otherwise yeah i would Yeah, that's my goal is to try to see. It's not a. It's not a. If you know, yeah, glue would probably work good too. But as far as this part goes, you're not going to get that good by using glue. You won't get the sewy look unless you've like just sewed the patches all together and then just. Willy nilled, nilly dead. And the fun thing about this, by not using glue, I can disassemble that this later on in life. And just if I want to reuse this, if I'm like, oh, I want to use that blue stuff for something else. I can just pull it out of the holes and it's done. 
So it's, or say you're just, you know, you got the grandkids around, they want to do something. You don't want to use all your good stuff, but you also don't, you know, you know, you know someday you, the things they're using, you might want to use later on. You can disassemble the project. That's just something, you know. Not that no, most people would disassemble their grandkids' things. Because I know I wouldn't. But it's just a, you know, example for those who might. Actually, these would be a cute little thing to, um, now that I'm thinking about that, wouldn't these make a cute, like, you know, like, to send to somebody, like, I know you, uh, you guys have, what is this, the rolls of ribbons and stuff where you put the snippets and stuff, where you can snip things off and use things. Something like this would be fun, too. You could assemble it, you send this beautiful piece of work, and then the people can... I'll pick a piece of fabric off here and stuff until they've used it all. See, once in a while, my mind works. <clears throat> my voice don't want to work today. But yeah, this stuff was all sent to me from Lisa because I had made a comment that, you know, I was interested in learning some of the things and stuff like that they do in the group, but I don't have all the stuff or the resources or the money. And so she sent me a start, what, you know, I calling it my starter kit. And I think, you know, especially when there's so many people out there that there are some of you that do these crafts that like have everything and then some and then some. So if you have extras, making something like this would be cute for like a little starter kit. Like here's some pieces of this and that, and this and that. Just ideas, ideas. some of these a little longer as I'm getting in there. Because there's a lot of this blue stuff. But I love it. <clears throat> Almost done. Look, I only have that much more to stick in. <laughs> like I said, I've never tried this project before, so this is something completely new and different to me, too. There's a couple things that didn't stay in their hole.
Ta-da. Oh, isn't that cool looking? I love it. Don't know if I want to use any buttons because I got these really cool buttons. Buttons. But I don't know if I want to use any of these on that. I kind of could use what is going on here. Get off of there. They were trying to hijack it. These I got from these little buttons here I got from Hobby Lobby and a button pack. And there was just a few odd like little owls, flowers. I'm trying to decide, do I want anything like this on there or not? I don't know. I also got this stuff. Would that be kind of... What do you think? Put that down in the things. I don't know. I like that or not. No, I don't think I like that. Maybe. Wrapped around, what do you girls think? Something like wrapped around like that? Or should I not use this stuff at all? You don't like my buttons? You like you like my buttons. I got a little my little pony buttons. I got this little weird thing here. We can't even see that. That's like a little light. The my little pony button. This is one of my favorite little buttons. Oh, she would be cute at the base of that stand in there, huh? Yeah, I think maybe she might make it on there. Other little My Little Pony button. And we got the skunk. Little elephant. All kinds of buttons. Uh oh, that's trying to fall out already. I'll fix that. Get right back in your holes. Yeah, I got. I they were. Oh, I can't forget the owl button. He's so cute. They were. I can't remember how much it was, but I was surprised all these little weird ones. Those will have to go back in their button holder later on. Okay. So, oh, I'm, oh, that's what I might do. That's too thinnish looking. What if I... took a couple of these. Just did the roly poly like that. Roll them up like this. 
Yeah, I'll be in and out of focus a lot. <laughs> that's just not my, my that's my normal days. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Got right ton in there. Yeah, looks good, I think. It's just enough, it's not too much. It, it breaks up the solidi solidity. And I'm thinking that she needs to have a little spot down here. She could almost sit on there herself. But she's missing a little bow, I see. I don't know. Maybe she'll work, maybe she won't. Let me see what else they've got. You know, I don't, I'm not feeling the buttons. I'm feeling like less is more. What do you guys think? Oh, and yeah. Oh, yeah, I have embroidery threads. Haven't used those yet either. I have a whole, I have like this little, I could have used that for the under, but no, I think I'm going to use this for something else. I have embroidery threads. I have this, this rip with a rick rack, ricky rack, rick rack, rick rack. <laughs> um, Washi tape, but I don't think I want to use washi tape. I do have some of this here, but I think it's just not quite what I'm looking for. I think it'll cover up too much. Yeah, buttons will be in the way of the pins. I'm really thinking that this is finished. I I don't want it to, to have be too much. That blue stuff is making me mad. It does not want to stay in its home. Get in there. There we go. Get in there. I feel like I'm trying to do that felting stuff. Which I want to try someday. My friend bought some. She's trying it right now. She's ripping her hair out. <laughs> so, okay. I'm going to call this finished, guys. I think that is amazing. I will probably figure up something to put down the bottom to weight it so that, because it's foam. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. So I'll probably find something, cut a hole and find something that's got some weight to it, a little piece of metal or something like that, just so it doesn't tip over so easily. But that is the finished project. So this is project number two for August of so do. Use what you got. I still got to find a project for later on. <laughs> so I can have today's done today too. But I just, I'm actually in love with this now. Mom might not get it. It might just like sit here and look cool on my desk.
Who knows? I really like it. I, re I love the challenge, and I liked the fact of having the opportunity to work with this stuff. But now I got all this other stuff I got to figure out what to do with eventually. So that might be my my project for later on today. Is figuring out what my next project is and then using it. I think I've used most of my fabric up though. But I got lots of strings and different things like that. And I'm sure if I dig through this place, it has all kinds of stuff everywhere that I will find what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, that's nice. My phone was trying to search for stuff. Yeah, I, I really want to try the felting. I really want to try the felting, but I don't know. Uh, you can you can get it for like I've seen a few of the kits for cheap that I might try just to just to try it. So yeah, now I gotta figure out what my what my second project is for the day. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, it'll probably be something quick and simple. I think I might find my. I have some leftover. Ugh, let me see where it's at. Copyright infringement. I thought I had that turned off. Come here, you. I can reach it. I'm probably going to use something, do something with these. They're what's left over of my uh, coffee filter flowers that I did a while ago. Um, I did coffee filter roses. This was just a different technique I tried. So maybe I'll do something with those. Because they need to get out of the way. Coffee filter stuff is so much fun, but it's so much a pain in the butt, too, because it takes forever. Um, yeah, I can make a little house and stuff like that. I'm trying to think outside of my boxes. But uh, there's a, I have a video of making my coffee filter roses. And these are the guys that have never played with these before. They're so much fun to dye because you can use watercolors. Depends on how intense of a color you want. You can use watercolor, you can use water down acrylic, you can use semi semi thin acrylic and paint it on to get a thicker look. I think in that video I show the different the different outcomes of it. So that might be what I do later on because I need to do something with those. But so there is project number 2 guys. My uh let me zoom in so you can Out a little bit. Right about there. There you go. Just got to clean some of the these stray things off. And there you go. DIY foam mushroom fabric pin holder, pin cushion. Boop, 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 boop. You can just stick your pins in there. You can just make it look fancy on your desk. You could make one of these, like um, like I was saying, you know, this, this is stuff that was sent to me from Lisa from My Eclectic Life. And it was sent in a box and stuff like that. But if you'd wanted to and you were bored and you had to, you know, you could send me the, you know, you wanted to send me some foam and stuff, things. Wouldn't this be a cute little idea? Everything you were sending the person, there's all the things and stuff. They might go, hmm, but they can disassemble this. And reuse it in a different way, in a different, uh, you know, in a different style and stuff like that. So, okay, guys, I'm going to let you all go. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Please, please, please share it, share it, share it a lot. <laughs> and um, 
until I see you guys again, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate everybody that stops by and I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. And any, I'm open to all kinds of comments and you know, ideas for maybe uh, other projects and stuff because I'm trying to think outside of my box and explore. So thank you guys so much and once again for, for stopping by. Zombie hugs. This is one of my sayings. And have a good, have a good day. Bye.